one people dims so as you already know i love my channel to do with films and anime and series as well as music but i'm always just so busy with the music stuff i never get a chance to actually sit down and watch any series um but one of the shows that i've literally been dying to watch since it came out was black mirror and what's really interesting every season of black mirror i think has been pretty awesome the first one we had we had the prime minister and the pig um and the dude with the um being able to like flash back in time and stuff he had obviously daniel kalia who obviously now is like big time movie actor but again you know everyone remembers him from on the bike and stuff um then you had the um crazy winter christmas episode thing uh, with, a, with a, a great twist in that you had the i'm trying to think of the ones that all that stand out in my head uh you had that one um i always remember with the girl who um everyone was chasing her around this village no one knew what was going on and why they were doing it for ages and right at the very end they found out why they were doing it it was like i actually kind of deserved that the one with the um the the kid um who was also being ordered around like with that other older guy and driving around to all the different places and you felt really sorry for him you're like oh my god then you find out what he did and you're like oh okay um the star trek one um the the one with the, the, the suit or the download the guy from facebook like i, I think they're sick i really do I've, I've always thought about mirror was a really good one but i kind of feel like no one's really talking about this one so much so i don't know whether it's hit the same way but i'm gonna go into open-minded and see what it's saying but i don't feel like it's the same buzz that i've had that everyone was watching beforehand obviously another one's probably watched it already now so i'm probably a little bit late to the party but uh Oh well. <laughs> uh, so see what it's saying. Uh, hear that noise. Joan is awful. That's literally going to be me in a few hours time. <laughs> is that my girl from... Um... That's Alexis, isn't it? From Schitt's Creek. This is weird seeing her, isn't it? Alexis Rose. Oh. She's hiding something already. A little bit of Alexis. <laughs> How's the coffee? If I'm honest, I'll tell them to look at the machine. Sandy's outside waiting for that 10.15. Oh, God. Oh. I am feeling the role care, though. Okay. I'm so sorry. She... We've all been there when they report you. Is that who it was from before? You're letting me go? Unfortunately, the board feel your compression algo isn't a thing that they want to pursue i just put a deposit down on a new apartment oh joan please don't do this um joan I'm just gonna give you a minute to compose yourself i feel pretty composed <laughs> oh no oh i invited you to the housewarming joan that sucks fine line between friends and management though can we have to do stuff like this? You shouldn't be talking to this person, quite clearly. She looks so different. Joan, is that you? I know you're there. Coward. You're a coward, Joan! <laughs> of all the people. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of her head, that's ridiculous. Joan, come on in. Of course she's in therapy. You'd need to be, wouldn't you? You can tell she's stressed. I mean, on paper it's it's fancy, I guess. Mm. But I'm just kind of the middleman between the board up in the clouds and the staff. Middle management. 
I'm engaged to Krish. Yeah. Oh. Good. Good. <laughs> it's good. Maybe he's just a little bit like vanilla. Um. Like even the food he cooks is bland. <laughs> if that's how you feel. It was my ex. Mac. Mac. Yeah. Um. I mean, it was just constant sex and craziness, and I never got over him. You know how you are always talking about, like, mm. the life story? That's mm. interesting. I was thinking about it, and I <laughs> I feel like I'm not the main character in my own life story. Some very honest truths there. Is this him? It is Mac. Hey. Oh, it's him. I mean, it, instant. Instant, right? Oh, okay, tactile. You broke us up. You broke my fucking heart. And just when I'm picking up all of the pieces of my life, you pop back up like a fucking... Like an unflushed turd. <laughs> <laughs> what you and I had was real. You know it. I want to be with you. Oh, you see all these slimy people, yeah. Leave Crash. Oh. And it was always going to happen, was it? The minute she replied. No, 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 no. I'm in my usual suite, and I'll be here for three days. People just love, like, manipulating, don't they? Just dance, monkey, dance. Oh, Frog has been a drinking. It was a goodbye party. What's in my head? Mm. Mm. Amazing. What is it? Is that salt? <laughs> is that salt? <laughs> it's on stream berry. Yeah. Well, let's see what they did there. Uh, Lock Henry, the Scottish murder thing? I can't really do another true crime. What about. Uh. <laughs> Joan is awful. Is that Selma Hayek? Uh. She even has your hair. That's not my hair. That's really weird. Well, we're watching it. No, we're not watching Joan is Awful. I mean, I'd be watching that. <sighs> oh, it's my mom for me, Sanders. It's a lot like our bedroom. That's really weird. Joan is shady. <laughs> you would just stop watching this, wouldn't you? You would just stop watching this. It's called Joan is Awful. It's got Salma Hayek in it. She looks like Joan. That job sucked anyway. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Joan is Awful. What the fuck? Who streams the show at bar? How is she still? Surely she's like, I did exactly this. Okay, how did you do this? How did I? This do is a this? prank. How did you do this? Well, I didn't. I don't sorry. find it fucking funny. How's the coffee? Dog shit. <laughs> I'll get the machine replaced. Please do that. Also, Sandy is waiting <laughs> for that 10.15. Also, Sandy is waiting for that 10.15. Is he still there? <laughs> He's still there. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They made me the gayest man on earth. <laughs> oh, well. Fire me? Correct. Your audio? That's what my hair like. Okay. Our carbon footprint. Not that concern. Well, I just put a deposit down on an apartment. Also not that concern. I mean, she definitely wasn't like that. She was upset. She's being a bitch. Oh my god, they're making me look like a monster. Yeah, they are. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fucking insane. All right, okay. What? Oh my god, my mom's seen it. What? Everybody can see this? Can everybody that has Streamberry watch this? My dad's seen it. Mary Ann's seen it. Jesus Christ. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Has Mac been texting you? What? No. No. Right. You can come in now. Oh my gosh. Are you joking? Chris, I want it off. No. How's life at home? Very vanilla. Oh. It is cooking. It's I didn't yeah. Chris, turn it off. With my ex boyfriend, Ma. There was so much crazy, <laughs> wild, imaginative. No, no, I'll be out. Sorry, my foot will be for the TV. Sorry. Hey, this is the TV. I didn't say this. Fuck. Chris, I haven't gotten over Mac. I, Chris, I think maybe I don't want to. Uh. It's blown out of proportion. Okay, I didn't say that to my therapist. So what did you say? It's not real. I don't know what's going on, but none of that happened. Chris, hey! In the TV show, Mac texted you and you texted him back, so... Show me your phone. I mean, it's, it is it is harsh that it all played out like that, but also, he didn't... Oh my God! It's TV! It's not real! If you weren't texting Mac, Show me your phone. Oh my gosh. They're right about you, Joe. No. Joe Ruffle. I, I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> oh. She definitely shouldn't have messed up with Mac. So is that finished now? What happens now? God, everyone's going to hate her. Shame on you. Oh, not the random runner having an opinion on my life. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Walk a shame, walk a shame, walk a shame, walk a shame. Did you see it? Everybody saw it. It's all anyone can talk about. Okay, just, just try and keep uh, it together for like the next few minutes. Why? <gasps> oh no. Carbon footprint thing. In the scene where you fired Sandy, technically, you broke your NDA. What? That's not fair. That was... It was so much higher. <laughs> what a sentence. I mean, is this a therapist doing? Because she said she'd like to change not being the main character. Because where... So there's a scene, there's an episode two. Like, I'd be going crazy than this, being like, where is it coming from? Why, what, 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 just, what, what? It's not like accepted that her life is on the TV. I have to say that actually, legally, the Streamberry Corporation can do this. What? What? <laughs> How? Yeah. But the show is using my life. It's it's my name, it's my career, it's me. They're, they're using me, so... And you assign them the right to exploit all of that. I have? What? what? When? You have. You just haven't seen it printed out before. All of that would have popped up on your phone or whatever when you first signed up to Streamberry. I don't believe a contract is that simple. No, I'm going to sue Salma Hayek. Well, it's not really Salma Hayek. The show deploys a digital likeness of Ms. Haya. She licensed her image to them. The entire show is CGI. Oh, wow. That is insane. How do they even know what I'm doing? It's the same, it's the same day. <laughs> you know when you got your phone face down on the table and you're in your kitchen and you're talking to your friend about studio advisors? You know, you go on your computer and what pops up? A studio advising ad. And escape it and it's... Yeah, so? <laughs> Get there. It, it embellishes things. It makes me look worse than I really am. So, defamation. At page 53, paragraph 12, there's something about 
creating characters and dialogue for dramatic purposes. Ah! My advice is to try and ignore it. What the fuck kind of advice is that? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not laughing at her despair, but a little bit like... Sorry, do I know you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have known that I sent something and didn't read because who has time to read that? Uh, you're sorry. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine this. <laughs> Just some comfort, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, does she not, is she, are they not even, are they not even remotely thinking like this? This is gonna be on the show. You know, it's one thing to not be able to get it up for, like, you, but uh, tell me. Hi, I can be, look, people are gonna laugh at me. Rude. <laughs> She's got some kind of plan. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? what is the plan here? <laughs> Let him speak now. Merry Christmas! One and all! Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you can't beat them. Never in my wildest nightmares, I thought I'd see myself defecating in a church. Well, technically, that's the Joan character. Image rights agreement with Streambury specifically covers any acts or behaviors Joan may exhibit. Oh my, what's beyond that? What can you do to erase this image from every machine in the world? <clears throat> Nothing. And he's gonna say that. N not a thing. You're fired. I think he got that message, Miss Hayek. <sighs> if this woman. What the? F I didn't um, actually think that you would come. What's wrong with you, girl? I mean, must you be so disgusting? I mean, the last. Few days have been pretty rough. I don't want to be associated with you. Well, I don't want to be associated with me either. I lose my fiance, I lose my job. They put my entire existence out there for everyone to watch. And you signed up to be the face of it. I should be yelling at you. You are yelling at me. Well, I need to yell at someone. <laughs> so you can't stop this? I thought for once I was gonna have control over my own image. But those fuckers lied about everything. Mona Giovanni. Giovanni. Whatever. And uh, the, the, the whole strawberry machine. <laughs> strawberry. <It's remarried. laughs> well, let's bring down the system. The, the computer thing. Oh, yeah. So we just get in there. You know? So you can just walk in the front door. This is so... This is so... <laughs> How they even conceive this episode is just mad to me. Sama Hayek is looking good. Miss Hayek, I have an appointment with Mona Giovanni. I, I can't, um, it should be in the system. Please do. Excuse me, is there a restroom I can use? Of course. Thanks to your show, every time people see me go into one of those, all they can think about is hot birria coming out of my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there is a private restroom down the corridor on the right. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently, Salma Hayek's downstairs asking to see you. Just get security to chuck her out. 
Right. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy. What are you wearing? It's a disguise. Take it off, they're gonna think you're kidnapping me. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. This whole floor is dedicated to content generation R&D. That is made by this, the computer, which is actually just down that corridor on the left. Oh, directions. An infinite content creator capable of willing entire multiverses into existence. And the role Salma's depicting <laughs> is based on a real job, right? Mm-hmm. Why that particular woman? What's so special about her? Absolutely nothing. Wow. A totally average nobody person. Oh just, my just god. The That's aim really here awful. is to launch unique tailored content to each individual in our database, all 800 million of them. Oh my god. Nobody wants that. Why awful? Why is it all so negative? We did try more affirmative content in the test cell, but we found that um, our subjects just didn't buy it. When we focused on their more weak or selfish or craven moments and put them in a state of mesmerized horror, which really drives engagement. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they need to smash the absolute cinderies at this computer. Right, and no one's allowed in oh, here. Oh, it's him. I'm calling security. Michael Saroy. If you call security, I will break your arm. Michael Sarah. But that's me. That should be her, right? Because that's the variant of Joan is awful that the Joan below you sees when she watches the show. The Joan below me. What? Well, you're not the original Joan. That's Source Joan. Source Joan? Yeah. You're just a Joan. Who's Source Joan? The real Joan. Look. There, Source Joan. You're a version of Joan played by a digital likeness of Annie Murphy. Who is Annie Murphy? The actress. Oh, wow. There, look familiar? Schitt's Creek, no? Great show. Source Joan lives in reality. When Source Joan watches the TV show Joan is Awful, she sees you playing her. Oh, You're in a show right now. I'm in a show right now? Look at me, Michael Sarah licensed his face. Just like Annie Murphy licensed her face to play Joan on level one, and Selma Hayek licensed her face to play Joan on level two, and to play herself here on level one. I am myself. Yeah, yeah, but it tracks that you believe that because you're coded to play yourself on this level. What? what? We're not in reality right now. This is fifth uh, level one. I'm not Annie oh, Murphy, source oh. Joan. <laughs> the Joan that lives. <clears throat> oh, thank God. You were so boring. Jesus. Boston with dances. But I reckon it's not going to be as simple as that, though. Okay, if you destroy Come that, on. you destroy everybody inside every fictive universe about this one. Billions of simulated souls who consider themselves to be real will die. Do you really want all that blood on your hands? Uh, I, I mean, need divine blood for me here. Yeah. Okay. Nah, smash it. The fact that I'm standing here right now means that Source Joan already stood here in reality, so... Yes. It doesn't matter what I want because the events that this is based on have already happened. Yeah. It's not my decision. Yeah. It's Jones. No! No! I think we're done. <laughs> we're gonna arrest her now. She got her life back. So, where are we at? Ah. Uh, I'm dating mm -hmm. again. Just taking it slow. Is she a famous actress? I'm my own boss. I, I treat my staff well, uh, and I'm actually I'm actually proud. Oh, the house arrest. Mm -hmm. You know, there's good days and bad days. I wonder how long that's for, though. I mean, it's a small price to pay for getting your freedom back. How you doing? Oh, she's got one too. Yeah, actually became friends. Well, I am suitably impressed by that personally, considering what I went into that expecting. I think that was pretty decent. Um, it was a pretty out there story. Um, and quite a little twist at the end there, actually, that she wasn't even she wasn't even the, the real Joan. Like, I mean, just think how deep that went. Like, Kate Blanchett. 
um, was her John. Uh, what? Well, sorry, was Salma Hayek's Salma Hayek because Salma Hayek was John. I just think it was really interesting, and and I think as well what made it really cool is that it was quite funny as well. Like it was funny kind of throughout the whole thing. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was really really clever. I th it, I it's funny because they managed to make Annie Murphy look very very dowdy, um, to the point where I was like, it, it looks like her, but it looks looks different. But then as soon as she was Annie Murphy again, I was like, oh no, there's Alexis. So it's amazing what a bit of hair can do. But she just like even her face looked fuller and stuff. Um, I couldn't even watch when that bit came up when she was telling the guy, telling um, and she was with Chris in the house, but it was coming up on the TV screen that like she said all these things about like how he was nice enough, but it's kind of vanilla. Do you know what I mean that that would be tough to take from anybody, even if food is bland. But then with the texting and, and seeing that and like then telling the therapist that she's never ever got over the relationship because she's always having this rampant love life with it. I can't even tell you the level of devastation that will cause. Like, I, there's just, there's the, the, I mean, she's good in a way, yeah, because so other people have reacted a lot differently when we dashed her out of the yard. I mean, you take your coat, you can, you can, you can take your, 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 your bland belongings that I bought for you and your vanilla boots and come at them and... Mm -mm. Um, but either way, you'd just be really distraught. I guess there's a whole point of as well, at what point do you stop and say, this is really weird, this is on the TV, and actually, this is this is you, this is your hair, this is where you work, this is your people. Like, at what point would you stop and say, uh, we need to just pause this second and be like, what is going on? Why, why, are, you, why are you on the TV? Like, that, the, the, that was mad. That was really, really crazy. But when she was like, the best way for me to get the attention of this woman, yeah, is for me to numb down how much burgers Drink down the, the laxatives. Oh, I can't. I just can't believe that she did. <laughs> like the, the announcer was written by Charlie Brooker, so it, I just think it with Black Mirror because it's always an out there kind of idea. It's so hard to come up with new ideas, but I can imagine that being a thing. Imagine that, like, how many people right now have. I've, well, I've, I've clearly watching Netflix, um, and how many people have gone through their terms and conditions with the fine tooth comb? How many times do you go through terms and conditions with any fine tooth comb for anything that you sign up to? And I've got no idea what we're signing away. Um, and that lawyer that was very much like, oh, well, you know, it is what it is, you signed it. Like, I'm pretty certain that you would at least have um, a potential to kind of say, well, actually, how how visible were the terms that you got to sign because ultimately if they're unfair, unfair contract terms like you'd have some you have some kind of leg to stand on but obviously if they made every it's a bit like how um a lot of phone companies now like they make it very very clear on each section what every bit is about so you can't really contest that you didn't know um so i guess that is that is kind of true but i can't even imagine like you know when she when she came out of her drive and the dude that was running being like shame on you I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know you. And you're coming for me. I, I think she handled that really well. Really, really well. I don't know what I would have done. I don't, I don't think I would have been as calm. But the fact that I don't think I would not have been as calm. Um, I thought they all acted really, really well in it. It was nice to see such a good bunch of actors. You know, Michael Cera, the, the guy that played Mac. I can't remember his name, but I know that he's a um, big actor. Um, obviously, Sam Hayek I thought was amazing. She looked amazing, acted really, really well throughout that. That's Annie Murphy. I just think she's brilliant. She, that it just convinced me, yeah. Because obviously, when you see certain artists and actors and ever in certain roles, you can't see them as anything else. It's a bit like it took a real long time for me to see kind of Harry Potter or Daniel Radcliffe as. Oh, there you go. Uh, as anything else, Rupert Grint, the same thing. Emma Emma Stone. Um, is it Emma Stone? Is Emma Stone, right? Um, 
so as soon as Alex, as, as soon as Annie came on the screen, I was like, oh, I'm gonna let this. Um, and there's obviously certain things that are very Alexis-y, but because they're very Annie Murphy. -y. Um, but in the main, I did see a different character there as well. So I think they did a really good job. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Like I don't know, like. Um, it's just nice to be back in the Black Mirror world, I think, and I think it was just it, it was quite an interesting take because you just didn't see it coming. I mean, I did read the, obviously the synopsis, but I didn't think it was going to be her character that had that happen to her all that quickly. Because obviously, I'm looking for Salma Hayek, so um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to read the next one. I think I'm going to just press play and just see what happens. But um, no, I thought it was really good, um, funny, little twist at the end. Um, Brilliant. I don't, know what, I don't know what more you could possibly need from, from a Black Mirror episode. And we've waited so long. That's the other thing as well, like, my, my best mate, Adam, was like, oh, you know, I just, mm, I just don't know whether it's, whether it's firing and all, but I guess we'll see. I don't know how many episodes there are. Um, oh, there's five episodes. Luck Henry, Beyond the Sea, Maisie Day, and Demon 79. Anyway. That's, uh, that's enough of that from, from me. So thank you so much for watching that with me, peoples. Um, and uh, if you have seen it, let me know what your thoughts are about the uh, the rest of them, um, what you thought of the series as a whole. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was wicked. I really did. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy, then do drop me a like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Um, and I do have a Patreon as well. So the full episode, the full reaction to these will be on Patreon. And uh, I'll get a YouTube edit on to YouTube at some point when I just, when I, when I get, get the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, not but love. Um, and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>